Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and in this video, this is a blacksmithing video, and I am comparing two different fuels. Hardwood lump, lump charcoal, like you see there in that bag, it is wood that has been burned under pressure, so it's got a lot of carbon in it. And we're going to compare it with coal, bituminous coal that I bought here. Look at that. So it's pretty interesting, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the differences and how they burn and how they work. And uh, you're going to learn a few other things, too. Uh, so if you're interested in a blacksmith, then stay tuned because uh, you're going you're gonna to learn a few things here. I'm going to show you some stuff. And one of these two, the bituminous coal or the hardwood lump charcoal, burns quite impressively like this. I mean, that is nice, and that forge is hot. Let's do the intro. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chase, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, rattle box, and animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, so first, let me just say something I don't say often enough. You should think about safety. Always wear work boots when you're forging, work, and blacksmithing because you drop stuff, and you can drop hot stuff on your feet. Safety gla uh, glasses are a must. Sparks fly. And on hot days, because that forge, that forge gets hot, make sure you have plenty of water. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, I clean, Look at the size of that clinker. That is one serious clinker, huh? I should save that one. Uh, but I cleaned out the forge 100%. I wanted to start really, really fresh, get rid of all the old coal and junk in there. And I cleaned out all the clinkers. And I also ran a um, something through the tuyer, which is the horizontal piece that the blower is attached to, to make sure that's all clean too. So the piping system underneath the forge is all cleaned out too. And my little screen there. So that's good. So let's start with the hardwood lump charcoal, which is fine for blacksmithing. Um, you can buy it in bags like that at Home Depot, Lowe's, sell it. It's, any place that sells barbecue stuff will probably sell it. Um, it gets pretty hot. And it cost me a little less than a dollar a pound. So you buy those bags. I think that bag, if I'm not mistaken, was like 14 bucks. I think 14 15 dollars. But let's um, put some in the forge and start it up. And that nice. And notice how I have some um, pieces off to the side there. Up at the at what what's that one o'clock in the in the video, those because as I need more, I just can sh scoop over more charcoal, lump charcoal, to keep the fire going where I want it. But in about ten minutes, this is what we got, and it looks pretty good. I've turned the blower on, and we're getting some heat. So let's do a little tinkering with these quarter-inch rods. Put them in the fire, and get them in a nice spot where it's really really hot underneath. You know, and that's one of the things when it comes to um, blacksmithing is you're going to learn the fire that you have and where the hot spots are and how to get the most efficient heat out of there. But let's take a quick look here. It took a while to get for these, even these small pieces, to get to to get hot. But we get that nice orange yellow color there towards the tip, which means we can do some work with them. You know, just almost too hot, but good for, you know, when you get the, that yellow color, almost white, you're even good for stuff like um, uh, forge welding. But you see, so, all right, so that's our experiment with the hardwood lump charcoal. Now let's move on to bituminous coal. So now I can work on those rods. And there you go, and I bought this uh, online, and they sell it on Amazon. I have links if you want to get some. And it's a little more than a dollar a pound, but it's free shipping, which is kind of nice, and... I think it's a, in that box was like about 16 pounds of coal. And I think it cost me, darn, what did it cost me? $22, $21? But let's let's start it up. Now watch this, because I already had some fire in that forage and some um, hardwood in there. All I had to do was put the coal in there and turn the toy around. And look at that green and yellow smoke. Look at that. That's what happens when you first burn coal or when you add more coal. That's the sulfur burning off of it. You know, and you can smell it. It's very distinct. You know, it's you know, it gives you that feeling. Um, I don't know how to describe it. When you start burning a new batch of coal and you get that sulfur smell, it's just it's almost nostalgia. You feel like a blacksmith. You feel like, hey, I'm going to be doing some smithing. But isn't look at that? Look at that fire. And I can get more airflow, but that's enough for now. But that's just amazing. Just just hot. That is one hot fire. And it didn't take long at all, it just took a couple of minutes because we already had a fire going in there. So, there you go. So now you know. My impression at the beginning was, which fire was it? That was the 
bituminous coal, and they make anthracite, well, they make, they also have anthracite coal, which burns even hotter. So that's something to consider. So what happens here? We put some our quarter inch rods in there. This is the other end, and look what look at that. Pretty good. Um, it heat up to temperature quicker because the fire is hotter. And I've already in this picture you see here, I've already hammered it and forge welded those two pieces together on the tip. See, and that's because I'm practicing to make a video of a special project that you're really going to like, a blacksmithing project, and I'm getting some practice in. But look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Brush it off. I, I, put, bar, I put bar racks on there to um, before I tapped it with a hammer to forge weld those pieces together. So that's that. All right, let's make um, a, a special project will be coming up. And for, But for now, for the rest of the day, after I did all of that, I uh, made nail swords for my patrons. And uh, in an earlier video this week, earlier this week, I talked about if you sign up for my Patreon page um, to support me, which I need the support, I really very much appreciate the help, I, uh, I'll i make you a nail sword. So I made a bunch of nail swords for people, and I will be sending those out. And it's not too late. This week, if you sign up for my Patreon um, and pledge your support to me, I'll, I'll send you a nail sword too. I think you'll be happy with it. It's, it's not a big deal. It's just a little thing, but made by my own hands and for you. Yeah. So at the end of the day, let's take a look at that fire pot. Isn't that amazing? I, I can't get over the beauty of um, coal when it burns and when it burns down and it makes almost like a lava. I don't know how to describe it. It's like this soupy, hot stuff, almost from a video game. Uh, that's it, more videos coming, thanks. Thanks for watching that video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, Thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.